My name is Mike Edel, and you're watching 101.9 Kink live in the Skype Live studio. That's Mike Edel right there. Hey, congratulations on the new album, by the way, which is now out in final form. Check it out, yeah? It's called India Seattle. We'll talk about it in a minute. I want to talk baseball for a second. Yeah. Get up on that mic for me. Sounds good. Was it hard? Was it hard seeing the the season come to a close? First of all, I'm assuming. I'm assuming. You you're assuming correctly. Okay. Jared. Team Canada, Toronto. Uh, you know, did you did you make it to any of the playoff games, or were you out on the road? I was out on the road, but I did go to a Jays game this year. Yeah. The Toronto Blue Jays are indeed my baseball team. That is your team. We were yeah watching them lose to the Royals in a bar in L.A. the other night. Oof. There's this really obnoxious Kansas City fan standing <laughs> there. He's all tatted up. He was there by himself, and he was just shouting curse words to the television. He was he was quite a sight for sore eyes. I you guess. should have went over to him, gave him a little piece of your mic no, mind. No, no, I should not have. He was he was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. See, I, I'm a San Francisco Giants fan, so I'm, I've got a couple in the bank, so i got nothing to worry about. You also know what it feels like to lose, though. <laughs> Why well, you got to do that, man? You now become that Kansas City fan. Oh, sorry. Not quite. I just don't have as many tattoos on my neck. Oh, so. uh, yeah. Jeez. Yeah, I would have steered clear of that guy, too, that you mentioned. I, I take that all back. So were you, uh, you have a, actually have a song on the album that's it's a baseball-themed song. It's called The Closer. Are you a, just a fan, or were you were, was that like the dream maybe when you were young? Well, obviously, since I'm Canadian, the dream was to be a hockey player. Yeah. Um, but I did, yeah, I did kind of jump in my dad's truck every summer and follow my brother around to all his baseball games, kind of on the Canadian prairie. So I would watch a lot of my brother's kind of baseball games growing up. So that song's kind of about. It's called the closer. It's about this dusty little prairie town and this this little little league baseball game taking place there. So yeah, yeah, little league. Not pro. No. no. It's all there. Hey, uh, so let's, let's get something straight, because I, uh, I was doing in-depth research for months uh, to prep for this interview. Why are you laughing? <laughs> this is very, I take my interviews very seriously. I got conflicting reports. Vancouver, BC is home, or Seattle's home? Those are very conflicting reports. Well, Seattle's maybe my future home, but Victoria, BC, on Vancouver Island, is my current home and has been for the last five or six years. But I spend a lot of time in Seattle these days. It's got to be a lady. Yeah, she's right there. <laughs> <laughs> and you're close home, man. Hey, and thanks for driving all the way. Who was at the wheel all night? Or did you take turns? So we will give mad props to uh, one of my best friends, Gabe Cortez. We give it up for Gabe. Give it up for Gabe. Yeah. You didn't get, you didn't get a little do doozy on the road, dozy. I didn't. Well, no, I didn't get do okay, good. doozy or dozy. Yeah, he was... <laughs> He was strong at the helm. We played a show in San Francisco last night, and we kicked it from there at midnight to, to come to the promised land of the Pacific Northwest for yeah, the rest of the week. Darn right. But I, I was do amongst the, my countless hours of research. I heard that you have kind of mixed emotions. There's been a mixed. There's been a mixed bag when coming to Portland. True mm -hmm. or false? That's true. <laughs> do tell. Well, <laughs> um, Jade Lounge. Played at the Jade Lounge one time. That was, a, that was a real time. They said we could only play as loud as 80 decibels. Yeah, they gave us 80 decibels there. So, so we did our best with 80 decibels of sound. <laughs> Please whisper your songs if yeah. you could. You know, this, we've had some great times, though. This is a great time so far. Yeah. We always have great times here, for sure. Good. Yeah, yeah. we have some great friends here. You ate, you ate cow tongue here, I understand. Whoa, how did you figure this out? See, dude, I told you, months and months of research. You he's, like, he's good. He's I did good. eat cow tongue here one yes, time. Yes, you did. And uh, <laughs> but I grew up on a I grew up on a farm, so it doesn't scare me. That wasn't a thing. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't I was just. Thing. I went down the menu. Like, yeah, I'll try the cow tongue. Yeah. There wasn't even. A, yeah. All right. Well, let's let's make that Portland stock go up. All right. So you play as loud as you want right now. Sound good? All right. Yeah. Mike Adele, everybody.